Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Pots, Pans, and Priscilla. I have got an exciting thing for you today. We are cooking football food. It is football, y'all. I'm gonna cook some football food. Something better than just chips and dip, because, you know, you get tired of that. So we're gonna have a few options here. And um, yeah, let's get cooking and see if we can have some fun. Go Jaguars! All right, guys, don't get overwhelmed. We're gonna do four different recipes, but I'm gonna walk you through every one of them step by step. First, we're gonna have our French onion loaf, which is a family recipe of mine. Then we're gonna have our wonton tacos. Mm -mm. So that is fun because you can add your own toppings to it. Then we're gonna do a bacon cheese dip and jalapeno poppers. All right, guys, our French onion loaf. Now, I don't know what the name is, but that's what we're calling it. My Aunt Debbie made this for every holiday growing up. And this is one that you wanna keep in your, your, your bank up here, your mind bank, for Thanksgiving and Christmas, because it's a good one to have for the holidays. But we also like to have it for football Sunday. So first, you're just gonna get a fresh loaf of French onion bread. Then you're going to just cut it down the middle. You're not cutting it all the way through. You just wanna kinda of open it like it's a big hoagie bun. All right. Now you can go ahead and take your tin foil and put it underneath it. Just like that. Then take your one stick of butter. Now I didn't say this was healthy. Obviously it's not keto, but it's amazing. That's what matters right now. Put this in the microwave, melt that butter down, and then you're going to mix it with our Lipton onion soup. All right, so you've got your butter nice and melted, and then you're gonna use the soup and dip mix. Now obviously there are different flavors. Today I'm using the onion. They're all good, none of them are not good. You're just gonna take this whole packet, dump it in your measuring cup, Stir it around really good, and then you want to take your dip and put it on your bread. People are going to be dying over this recipe. And they're gonna think you worked all day on it, and it's really easy. I forgot to mention I did go ahead and start the oven. We preheat it to 350 degrees, and then you're gonna put this in for about 20 to 25 minutes to get it going. And this is a nice little appetizer. If you're having a dinner party, you can do that. I don't think there's a wrong way to serve this. Now, we're gonna use pepper jack cheese on ours, which gives it obviously a little kick. So you can see the inside now. You wanna make sure you get all the inside. Cause you don't want anybody to get a piece of bread that doesn't have this flavor on it. All right. The pepper jack cheese. You wanna get the slices and then just go down the middle of your bread. If you're like my family, I have to make sure I order extra because they always eat my stuff, you guys. If I don't cook it right away, they start eating my ingredients. Now it's okay that you're not getting up here because we're gonna have a few extra pieces and we're just gonna go back through and make sure we get them covered. All right, and then this one I'm just gonna cut in half like that, and I'll give it to my cameraman. He will work for food. <laughs> All right guys, so now you're just gonna kinda push it together like this. Take that rest of your dip and just go along the outside of your bread. You can go on the inside too. And then you can just kind of pour it along. Okay, so then you're gonna take your tin foil, make like a little taco. Get the rest, don't save any of this. There's no reason to save it. You need to get all that goodness on your bread. 
Oh, buddy. Now, if you don't want to take this to every family get together, don't make it for people you don't want to take it to. All right, you ready? Now we're just going to wrap it. But we're just going to kind of fold it over like this. It requires no baking sheet. If you wanted to set it on one, you can, but you don't have to. There you go. There is your French loaf, French onion loaf. That's what I'm calling it. I just made it up. Like I said, you're gonna bake it on 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. You can kind of tell when you see that cheese melting, oh, you're gonna pull it out and it's gonna be so good. I haven't had this since last year, like for the holidays. So I'm super excited to have a piece. All right, guys, let's get that in the oven and get our next item up that we are gonna be making today. We have got that amazing smelling bread in the oven. We'll just wait on that. But while we're waiting, we'll go ahead and make our next dish. These are gonna be wonton tacos. So you're gonna take a pound of ground beef, your wonton wrappers, which are awesome to work with, taco seasoning, cheese, and then whatever your favorite toppings are. So we're gonna use some salsa, sour cream, and hot sauce. You might wanna add some avocado. You could have guacamole and add that to it. Um, I also made guacamole on this channel, so I will link that above. That would be a great thing to add to this dish. All right, guys, so I'm just browning this meat. Add the taco seasoning just like you normally would. You can get the directions for that on the back here. And I'm just using this meat chopper to get it really good and break up the meat. This thing's amazing. Like if you have meat that you forgot to thaw, it will help you um, with that frozen meat, but it will help. I'm gonna link this down in the description below if you wanna check it out on Amazon. It's great, I love using it. But it really helps with getting your meat to where it evenly distributes the heat and cooks evenly. We're just gonna let this go on its own. We're gonna come and I am using my cupcake pan. I'm gonna spray it with some canola oil. All right, you're gonna put one wonton wrapper in each little cup. They go down beautifully. If we're having a big party, I'll do two trays of these and they go really quick. People love them. And they're an easy thing to eat on the go. So you don't need, they don't require a utensil. So that's really nice. These might be fun for kids. That I could see kids really enjoying having these. It's a little fun treat for them. It's also really good. I'll have to do a, a video one day. Like apple, little wonton apple pies. Okay. So we're going to start with this. That's what they look like. They don't take long to cook because your ground beef's already gonna be cooked. So the only thing you're doing is kind of letting these get happy in the oven. But we will put that off to the side, wait for our ground beef, and then we'll fill those cups up with ground beef. Our ground beef is good, it smells amazing. And I am gonna use a serving spoon with um, slats in it so we don't get all the juices from the ground beef. You obviously you um, strain it and then you add the taco seasoning, but that water that you add, you don't want that because then it'll get soggy in your wontons. So you just try to get off as much as you can and then you start filling your taco shells. Now we're just gonna put a little cheese on top of each one. That's all I put before I put them in the oven. Doesn't have to be pretty. You could also take the rest of this ground beef, put it on some nachos for your hubby. If his team's winning, that might be a nice little treat. Or if they're losing, then he would probably love you forever if you did that. And I know most of the time, like I said, it's hubby, but let's be honest. I'm the football fan in this house, so I'll let Asa make me some nachos with this leftover ground beef. All right, put these in the oven. It's only going to take about 10 minutes, if that. So make sure you watch them. You're just kind of looking for the tips to get a little bit brown so they'll be crunchy. Like I said, ground beef's already cooked, so the only thing you're worried about is the wonton wrappers. Don't forget about them or they'll burn and they won't taste great. I know from experience. <laughs> so we have four dishes today. 
you could do like a first, second, a third, and fourth quarter. And then like a really good thing for halftime. Or you could make fancy drinks. This smells so good. Oh. So then you're just going to take it and you're going to cut it. It's so hot. In pieces, whatever size you want. I'm terrible at cutting bread, so I'm going to let Asa cut this bread. Can, can you make this look pretty? Are you, are you calling in second string? I am. <laughs> Your first string for cutting. Oh, okay. Okay, good. It's I'm hot, not, right? I'm not, I'm not the backup quarterback? Nah. Okay. Oh, it's so good, huh? Yeah. It tastes so good. I'd say that you won the first quarter. Thank you. We're going to go ahead and put this on our cute little football tray. And if you want, you can just put as many pieces that'll fit and then hide the rest for after everybody leaves. That way you can indulge by yourself. I don't know about that, though. I, I don't do that. Ever. There you go, guys. That's what your bread looks like. All right, guys. Our wonton tacos are done. They look so good. Like I said, you're just looking for that little bit of brown on the edges right there. That tells you that they are done. You're gonna add your favorite toppings and they're good to go. If you wanna serve these to the kids just like this, that's fine. Our bread is finished. Our wonton wrappers are finished. Now we have a new team player. He has been transferred from a different team. I've never worked with him before. Let's go ahead and get this baking going. Now we're not gonna use all the bacon for this recipe, but we do need to use it for this recipe in the next one. So I'm gonna go ahead and take about half for this recipe and I'll keep the other half for our last jalapeno poppers. In case you hear the jets flying over, you know, we have that here. They're working on their flying while I'm working on my cooking. So we can all share this space together. But we've got that baking going. We'll wait for it to cook and do its thing. And we'll go ahead and mix all of our other ingredients together. You're going to take 16 ounces of sour cream, dump it in your bowl. You want one eight ounce package of cream cheese. Now have this sit out when you get other things ready. That way it can get softened. It's easier to work with when it's softened. So yeah, ours is soft now. That's perfect. I feel like people on um, like the Food Network, they never have problems like opening packages. I think that's why they have everything set out. So they look so flawless. Well, this is real life, folks. Sometimes it doesn't go as planned. Okay, so just take that cream cheese, mix it right in with your sour cream. You're gonna take two cups of sharp cheddar shredded cheese. Mix that together. And then a ranch packet. This is gonna be so good. Like I said, this is a new player to our team. He came from another side, but I'm I'm happy to work with him. Now, you're just gonna mix all these awesome, oh good, we're just gonna dump it out the bowl. You're gonna mix all these great flavors together. That's why you want that cream cheese to be softened because it's really hard to work with it. Okay, this is gonna be so good and then you're gonna add that bacon to it. Ooh, buddy. Now this would be good with like Ritz crackers or tortilla chips, whatever you want to serve it with. Maybe like a little baguette. Um, there's so many options, you guys. You could put this, you could take a Hawaiian bread roll, bread bowl, cut out the center and put that in the middle and then people could pull it off and use the bread to dip it in. Mm-hmm, yes sir. This is like, this, this guy, he, I think he's our secret weapon this year. Go ahead and let that sit there. All those flavors together. It's going to be so good, you guys. We're just waiting on our bacon. You want it? You're going to cut it up like little bacon bits. If you want to cheat and buy pre-made, like the actual bacon bits, go ahead and do it. I don't care. There's no judgment here. 
real life is in the making right now. I am running out of time before I have to leave to go pick Abigail up. I've got that bacon cooking behind me for our new man on the roster. But I'm gonna go ahead and get our jalapeno poppers going. So you're gonna need cream cheese. You can start with a block. You're probably not gonna use a block. You might have noticed my fancy little gloves here because you do not wanna be messing with jalapenos and then touch your face. Believe me, I made that mistake years ago and that was terrible. So go ahead and empty out all those seeds. Listen here guys from Air National Guard. Can you, can you do this at a different time? I'm trying to film Triple P. A spoon works better for that. I was all distracted with the guys out there. Okay, so just take it and get all the insides of your jalapeno poppers out. Just like that. Now, I lay these on a cookie sheet, but I put a rack on it so they're not touching the bottom of the pan because I'm going to wrap them in bacon. Get out all those seeds, guys. If you leave those seeds in there, you are going to be lit up. Lit, not like the kids talk about. Lit like, whoo, I'm on fire. All right, I want you guys to comment down below with who your favorite NFL team is. If you don't have a favorite, you can use mine. It's the Jaguars. I want you to hit hashtag go Jaguars or whatever team you like. Go ahead and comment that below. Maybe you're not in the US and you watch a different kind of football. You can, you can tag them too. We're, we're good. Okay, this bacon is looking good. Now, I personally, I personally like my bacon um, wiggly, as I call it. But for this dish, you do want it a little more crunchy. We'll just put that over there. We're dealing with jalapenos right now. The jalapenos, we need to get those done. And the bacon, obviously, you want to let that cool down because it's going to be easier to work with because I'm going to be cutting it into little bacon bits. Are we sweating yet? I'm sweating, guys. It is hot. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take my gloves off. You've got all the, the hot parts out, so you should be good to go. If you want to, you know, if you don't want to be a risk taker, that's fine. I understand. Just keep your gloves on, but I work better without them. So then, you're going to take your cream cheese and you're going to put it in your jalapeno. Just like that. There's no exact science to this. It's all in what you want to do. I am letting you be free, people. If you like a little more cream cheese, like that one, probably too much. I'm going to take some out. Because you don't want just a mouthful of cream cheese. I mean, maybe you do. But we don't. Okay, and then you're just gonna do the same thing for all of your jalapenos. Pretty easy, right? And this is for that time when your husband's like, yeah, remember I invited the guys over for the football game. And you're like, no, we never had that conversation. You can just whip this up, you guys. Like all of this took me an hour and that was with talking to you while I did it. Let me give you a little pro tip here. If you do any of those parties like handbags or Pampered Chef or any of those, you know what I did one time? I had one of those parties, did a football theme, had their wives, had my friends bring their husbands over for a football party and we had Pampered Chef party. It worked out because guess what? Their husband's going to say, no, you can't go to that Pampered Chef party. They got to come to a football party and we sold them Pampered Chef. Ha ha ha. All right, guys. Now this tip is for you. I, we are not biased over here. So I'm going to give you a tip. If you want to invite your friends over, don't, don't ask your wife to make food. You can do this, guys. I believe in you. This is super easy. Asa does this stuff. He can make this, so you make these, and you'll be good to go. And then you won't even have to, like, it'll be good. Everybody will be happy, and you'll be eating good food and watching the Jaguars. 
Because that's who everybody's going to comment down below, right? Right? In case you didn't have enough cheese, now you can put some little cheddar cheese on here. Mm-hmm. Just give it a little love. You're going to take your little jalapeno popper. You are going to wrap the popper in the bacon. This is like, this is your sneak play. One of my favorite sneak plays is, I, I've made up the name. I don't think this is the name. It is the center sneak, the center keeper. That's what it is. Isaiah, my son, plays the center. I want his coach to do the center keeper play. It'll work. I'm telling you. So that's what this bacon. This is your this is your sneak play. You're like, yeah, I'm just doing regular old jalapeno poppers. So you're probably wondering, what is she talking about? What is the center keeper? It's where the center goes to hike the ball behind him, but he puts it on the ground, picks it up, and then runs with the ball and gets a touchdown. It's a play, guys. I watch YouTube and I watch all the secret plays and I've decided that when I become a coach one day, because it'll happen, I'm sure, I kind of do what I say I'm going to do. I'm doing a game full of nothing but sneak plays. How cool would that be? It'd be the best game ever. I'm pretty sure it, that would be a YouTube sensation. Whole game, nothing but sneak plays. Uh-oh, we have a problem. We're going to have we're going to have an injury here. Cuz one of our players is not going to have bacon. Uh-oh. There's going to be two of them. Two injury reserves, two on the IR list. It's not bad for for this kind of team. It's not bad. So go ahead, pop these in the oven. I would crank the oven up to about 400. Um, you know, you want these jalapenos to get roasted looking. And then, of course, you want your bacon to be done. So, put them in there. And, guys, you are ready to go. I'm going to cut this bacon up. We're going to add it to that. We're going to throw that in the oven with it. And we have got ourselves a ball game. This is going to go in the oven for about 20 minutes on 400 is fine. I'm going to bring in the B team. My cameraman's going to have to help me out because I got to leave to go pick up Abigail. So he is going to get it all plated up and we will show you the finished product. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. I am loving this community. We're growing and comment down below with who your favorite team is. Mine is the Jacksonville Jaguars. Go Jags. Have fun during this football season.